NeoGAF, formerly known as the Gaming Age Forums, is an internet forum that discusses video games, founded as an adjunct to Gaming Age, a video game news website. On April 4, 2006, the GAF changed its name to NeoGAF and became independently hosted and administered. Topic history NeoGAF began as the Gaming Age Forums, a forum for gaming website Gaming Age. As Gaming Age outgrew its hosting, IGN took over hosting of Gaming Age's forums. After IGN ceased hosting of GAF in the summer of 2001, GAF moved to EZ Board, and the administration of GAF became more estranged from Gaming Age, as the Gaming Age staff became gradually more divorced from the day-to-day -day operation of GAF. Problems with the new Game Squad hosting cropped up. As software bugs in V-Bulletin 2, the version GAF was using at the time, continued to worsen, the GameSquad hosting became increasingly more impractical, until the forum's database became corrupted, forcing a move to new hosting in order to change software and salvage what was left of the forum's database. In the spring of 2004, a fundraiser was held to move GAF to new hosting. On June 6, 2004, GAF took its newest form known as NeoGAF to longtime posters and moved to new hosting and new software, V Bulletin 3. On April 4, 2006, the forums were relaunched as NeoGAF, the former in moniker, by its administrators. NeoGAF also features its own front page, an upfront admission that the forum's audience had drifted from that of its birthing news site, but yet mandated a single portal to represent the forum's members. In an interview with VG247 in 2013, Tyler Malka claimed that he was offered $5 million to sell the website, turning down the offer. One year later, he stated in a forum post that the offer doubled, later saying he also turned down the deal. On October 21, 2017, following a sexual harassment scandal involving Tyler Malka, most of its moderation staff resigned, and many users posted suicide threads wherein they demand to be banned from the forum. The website went offline soon after. Afterwards, NeoGAF was restored, suspending the off-topic sections of the board, and announcing that politics would henceforth be a prohibited subject of discussion and that moderation would become anonymous. Several prominent former NeoGAF members and former moderators launched a new forum named Resetera a few days later. <laughs> Industry response. Members of the video games industry have been known to be members of the website, such as David Jaffe and Cliff Blazinski, though both have left the site. In 2007, in a thread discussing the resignation of Peter Moore from Microsoft, one user making fun of Microsoft's vice president of global marketing Jeff Bell received a personal message asking them, And your contribution to society is. What? The account was later found to be Jeff Bell's. Malka later said he saw a shift on the forums with people in the games industry being more careful of what they post. In a 2009 thread post on NeoGAF dedicated to the game Scribblenauts, user Feep relayed the experience of discovering during E3 that he was able to go back in time with a time machine to collect a dinosaur in order to defeat an army of robot zombies that could not be defeated with regular weapons. The story, memorialized as Post 217. Led to the game's artist Edison Yan creating a desktop wallpaper image of the story, in appreciation of the positive fan response to the game, and the terms, Post 217, Feep, and NeoGAF, were included as summonable objects in the game. Scribblenauts director Jeremiah Slachka credited the word of mouth popularity of Post 217 for part of the game's success at E3, and noted that he had contacted Feep to gain his permission to include Feep appearing as a robot zombie within the game, describing the development struggles of 2017's Rhyme. Tequila Works co-founder Raul Rubio Munares said reading the forum's reactions sent him into tears for two days and that if he read them early on in development, the game would have been cancelled. Partly because I just don't understand the cruelty, but more importantly because I could see those years over those two days, and I began to understand that maybe people can love something so much that they can hate it. After referring to the transgender Kotaku writer Heather Alexandra as a man after she wrote a critique on Earthworm Jim, Doug Tenapple described being derided on the forum as, like being unpopular in North Korea, and said that regardless, I make my games for everyone. Criticism <coughs> 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 
One of the biggest critics of NeoGAF was game designer and former Silicon Knights president Dennis Dyack. In June 2008, he issued a challenge to forum users. He asked users to say whether they were for or against the then upcoming Silicon Knights game Too Human. Once the game was released, if the game received negative reception, Dyack would have owned by GAF under his forum name. If positive reception, users who voted against the game would have had owned by Too Human. Dyack would later go on the One UP Yours podcast, explaining his challenge was an experiment to expose the lack of accountability on online forums, adding that NeoGAF would crumble if it doesn't reform itself. He was later permanently banned from the site in August that same year after calling it the worst online forum. NeoGAF was criticized for biased moderation and banning political dissidents. Tyler Evilor Malka made a post admitting biased moderation by at least one former member of the moderation staff. Malka stated that the ex-moderator banned hundreds of members without justification. Malka also made the declaration that discussion should be encouraged with different points of view, saying that people on the website have been driven out, character assassinated, labeled traitor for not sounding angry enough, or for not being entirely on board with ostracizing someone else for the same reasons. In the media In 2007, the website partnered up with the Get Well Gamers Foundation to launch a donation campaign to bring video games to children in hospitals. NeoGAF raised $5,600 in cash and inventory donations over the October to December period. An exchange on the forum inspired members to start the development of Dude Bro 2 in 2010. The game is intended to be a satirical take on the machismo found in some modern titles and will feature John St. John, the voice of Duke Nukem, as the lead. The last update on the game's development was in 2015, during the Gamergate controversy of 2014, Slate's David Auerbach claimed NeoGAF hosts pedophilia discussions on non-age restricted boards and has a sexist owner. In June 2017, a longtime NeoGAF poster and former moderator, Christopher Amir Zero X. Goldberg was arrested and charged with multiple counts of possession of child pornography. In June 2015, a Reddit sub community devoted towards mocking NeoGAF became one of five communities shut down by the site. Reddit argued the ban hit groups that allow their communities to use the subreddit as a platform to harass individuals when moderators don't take action. Vice News noted the site was one of the largest drivers of traffic to Hillary Clinton's website during the 2016 U.S. presidential election. See also Resetera List of Internet forums <laughs>